team it can be classified as positive work negative work and zero work now we have to identify or we have to define or we have to explain what positive negative and zero of this name indicates moving to the first classification first one is positive work consider a small object having mass m if we are applying a force f to this and if the object is moving in the same direction of applied force the condition is that the object is moving in the same direction of applied force then the work is said to be positive understand if we are applying a force to an object and the object is displaced in the same direction of applied force that means force and displacement are in same direction here then work is said to be positive that's the first condition now moving to the second one negative work similar way we are considering an object of mass m and we are applying a force to the same object and if the object is displaced just opposite to the direction of applied force then work is said to be negative here in this condition force and displacement are in opposite direction not in the same direction if the displacement is just opposite to the direction of applied force then work is said to be negative then work is said to be negative moving to the third classification it is zero work zero work means in the similar way we are considering an object of mass m a force f is applied to the object and the object moves in an angle which is of right angle to the direction of applied force look here if we are applying a force to an object and the object moves in a direction which is perpendicular right angle means perpendicular the object is moving in a direction perpendicular to the applied force then work is said to be zero work in other ways we can say that if we are applying a force to an object and the object does not makes any displacement then work is said to be zero these are the classification of work positive work negative work and zero work if the object moves in the direction of force that means force and displacement are in same direction then work is said to be positive like the example of positive work is when we are pushing a table or when we are pulling a table etc in this cases the force applied and the direction of motion is in same and is in the same direction applied force and the movement or the motion or the displacement are in the same direction in that all cases we can say that examples are positive work in case of negative work the applied force and displacement are in opposite direction just think of an example like that when we are applying a force and the object is moving in opposite direction do you get any example yes we are having example when i am rolling a ball just imagine a football or a cricket ball or a hockey ball anything you can take i am rolling it in a floor the ball is rolling towards the floor or ground then the ball is moving in the direction of applied force that means if we are applying a force initially and the ball is moving in the ground that means it is moving in the direction of applied force but remember there is a term friction remember there is a term friction friction is the force which opposes the motion of the object that means frictional force will always act opposite to the direction of motion that means if the ball is moving from left to right then frictional force will act from right to left that means frictional force and movement of the ball are in opposite direction 
then the work done by frictional force is simply negative. That means the ball or that object is moving opposite to the frictional force. Then the work done by frictional force is negative. I am saying another example. When we are throwing a ball upwards, the ball will move in the direction of applied force. That means we are applying a force upwards. But remember, there is a term gravity and gravitational force. You already understand what gravitation or gravity or gravitational force in the third chapter gravitation. Now I am saying that when we are throwing a ball upwards, the ball will move in the same direction of applied force because we are applying force upwards. But gravitational force will always act downwards, that is towards the earth. Gravitational force is acting downwards towards the earth and ball is moving upwards. That means gravitational force and the movement of the ball are in opposite direction. Then the work done by gravitation force is simply negative. These are the examples for negative work. Now moving to the zero work. If the displacement of the body is just perpendicular to the applied force, then the work is said to be zero. How it happened? Can you give an example? Just think about it. Just think, I am carrying a load in my head and walking forward. For carrying a load, I should apply a force upward. And when I am walking forward, the direction of motion is like this and I am applying a force like this. Look, when to carry a load, I should have applied a force upwards like this when I am carrying a load. And when I move forward or walk forward, the direction of motion is like this. Here, the applied force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other. Then work is said to be zero work. Otherwise, I can give another example. When we are pulling a wall, which is a fixed one, we cannot pull to move the wall to another position. It remains fixed. Whatever the force we are applying, the wall remains fixed in the same position. That means we are applying force, but the object does not make any displacement. At that time also, work is said to be zero. These are the classification of work, positive work,